So today I wanted to try something new, and I guess we'll see how it goes as to whether or not we continue doing it. But I ran that community tab poll the other day, and I was kind of asking about what you guys thought regarding diamonds from different hunts being added into videos, like, you know, for a specific hunt. And a lot of you guys were fine with it, uh, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, just like yesterday's video, the diamond elk that we shot, that was from a different day than the video was recorded, but a lot of you guys still voted for saying like, that it kind of takes away from the hunt, and I don't know, I think I'm going to continue to try to do both, but something I want to try doing for weeks where we have a lot of stuff is kind of like a best of the week kind of thing, and it's probably going to be mostly Sundays, and it's definitely not going to be every Sunday, but I want to start doing like little compilations of like the best diamonds that didn't get into videos and maybe some Twitch highlights because we actually had a lot from this past week and we've had a lot of Twitch highlights recently. So I want to try it, see what you guys think, and yeah, we'll get into it. This lake is amazing for pronghorn and you see right there why I'm recording right now a level four albino pronghorn, but that's not the only thing. Super quick, I'll show you on the map. It's this one on the east side. Uh, there's actually two. The other one is a doe. So we definitely want to get that one first, and hopefully he's going to give us a shot opportunity. They're so interesting looking. It's really neat. But we're going to go ahead and get him, and I know I saw a doe in here. That was the first one that caught my eye, and I kind of got a little bit sad. The first albino I see is a doe, but then I saw another white patch just in the grass in there, and I've just been sitting here waiting for them to leave their drink zone, but I didn't know he was a four until, like, right then. I just knew it was a buck. I could see like he had a little larger horns, but two at the same lake. I haven't seen an albino this entire time. And then there's two just chilling up here at what I think is probably the best pronghorn spot on all the map. And shout out to all the above for actually showing me that because I didn't realize they even came this far north. But yeah, they do and a lot of them do. So this will be our buck. And the fact that it's a four is so cool. I wonder if albino pronghorn actually have like the darker fur on their nose. I'm not really sure. But it still ends up actually looking really, really cool. So that is going to be hopefully in a multi-mount eventually. I mentioned that, I'm not sure if it was on a stream or in a recent video, but the devs have apparently talked about maybe looking into doing more multi-mounts in the future. So I hope that's a thing. Like I really want a huddle pronghorn multi-mount. And just in case they would allow some females in that, because that actually makes a lot more sense for, like, a pronghorn multi-mount is, like, a lot of them and maybe, like, a buck and two does or whatever. I think we're going to go ahead and taxidermize this and have it, but that's just insane. This lake. If the wind wasn't bad, we'd go for that. wonder if we can just smoke him at 100 and whatever that is. I'll try. I don't even know where to aim. Yeet. Did what? What? <laughs> what just happened? Um, my name Cat. Thanks for the raid. Oh my god. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Double long heart at 161 meters. I will never do that again in my life. Smoked him! <laughs> and liver, by the way, for good measure. Or wait, no, not double lung. It was liver, single lung, and heart. So we just found another level 3 turkey, and he's pretty far away. So I want to back up and try to make it a 400 meter shot with the 22, but he's actually kind of moving away from us, so we better just go for this, because otherwise he's going to get... At a render. Oh, <laughs> actually hit that on the first try. It will kill him. He's gonna die really slow. I don't know, he's moving pretty far. Okay, he just left render there, so maybe? Because they run pretty slow? It had to be really close to 400. I kind of really hope that was actually 400 meters though, because I mean, a 400 meter diamond turkey would be really cool, and 402 on the trot, that's actually cool. Not exactly my best shot, kind of just got him in the leg, but like I said, any 22 hit will end up killing him. But he's a good-sized one, 
Like, I've talked about making a second trophy lodge for some of the not as good kills, but that's actually a good scoring one, like, with a shot like that. That's actually going to be cool to keep him. All right. Let's try it. We'll walk right into 200, and we'll see if that works. The wind is pretty okay for this. Okay. Can I use big arrows? I can't. Oh, goodness. I can't even see it. Do we get it? <laughs> Got close. Maybe the wind pushed it left? Did we get it that time? Yes. <laughs> Pretty good, actually, as well. Holy. All the... Oh, was that an albino? Yeah, it is. An albino level 3. I'm really glad that I have to try to kill that with a recurve now. I still see him. Hopefully, if we can just get a little further. This is literally going to be like a 10 meter shot. Still hidden. He's still blissfully unaware of our presence. Nice. Okay. Nope. No touch. <laughs> I don't want to be touched. That is actually pretty cool. Looks like a pretty good shot as well. Nice pink eyes on these guys. So, as I, I think we'll talk about in the next video, that video hasn't come out yet, I've been doing a lot of respawns that haven't been videos, like Pronghorn and stuff, I've just been shooting them a lot for respawns. And evidently that's paid off. Not too bad. I wish I would have seen this guy before I guess I spooked him, but... Unfortunately, he's nervous, and I'm not going to be able to call him in. And with my seven remaining 22 bullets, we're going to try to... Oh, wow. I wonder if we got that lung shot in there. That would have been pretty decent, but... Try to get him down so we can potentially add another diamond turkey to our lodge. But I actually saw this dude kind of leave render. I spotted him just before he got out of render, and luckily he was just kind of chilling over here, but... Just a little 4.6 uh, gobbler, but... Liver, actually. Not too bad. That might actually be the first level 3 that I've instantly dropped. Now, I don't know if I have a ton of room for more diamond turkeys, but again, eventually we're going to have like another trophy lodge going where we could either do that like in another multi-mount or just, you know, on the wall somewhere in there. So we'll definitely take those. There's a bear over there. Bear right there. Not really worth our time. I don't know what's going on. Some prong boys, if none of these are that big, I don't mind. Mule deers. That's a very large mule deer. Okay. <laughs> Good thing I have a recurve for this. Is he attentive or something? Or is he just really slowly walking? He shouldn't know we're here yet. He is attentive, though. That does not bode well for us. I'd really like him to just walk right into 10 if he's going to come this way. He's alert, though. Holy! Right. Holy! That was a scary time. Can I spot you? Oh. I don't know if we actually got him good enough, though. That might have been, like, spinal cord or something. Oh, no. We didn't hit him in the brain, did we? Could that have been skull? I'm so scared. Uh, Terminal Yut, did I say that right? Thanks for the tier 1 sub, man. I I don't know what we hit. I'm afraid Vital Blood could be from the brain, because that looks way too high to me. Guys, did we mess it up? Hey! Oh my god! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that was almost bad. That is, uh, I believe once again, just under... My biggest diamond mule deer, 537 is my biggest. My other diamond one in my current lodge is 536. Guys, oh, like, I hit the jaw. I was that close to ruining it. <laughs> Oops. 
So that is not something I expected to be seeing. I'm kind of out here looking for more pronghorn because I still want to get a diamond dark one. But a level 5 plains bison, which we did get one of these on the content creator beta. But you really don't see these all that often. And I've actually got a spot that I think I'd like to put a diamond bison. So if we can get him and if he makes it, that would actually be pretty cool. But of course, bison doing what they do in real life, just completely huddling together and making it difficult to pick out one. So I honestly wish I had the bow. I don't have it with me. Or I would try to get him with a bow, but we're just going to kind of scoot in here. We'll probably get to like this tree if we can. Jeez. And uh, yeah, we'll see if that's going to give us a good enough view or, you know, alert them till they kind of move out of the way. Okay, that's got to be him there. And he's going to alert. So if he'll stand still. Just go ahead and throw a 300 round at him. I think that should be good. But he's actually not dying, or he wasn't there when I last had him spotted. Now, if it's a flesh hit, I think we're okay. Like, I think he's going to end up surviving that, and we can try to make a better shot. But I think that should have got him. There is hunting pressure, so we must have. But it took a long time for that health to drop. I was getting a little bit worried there. But yeah, he's actually just down right there, so he didn't make it too far. Just kind of perfect uh, distance to where I couldn't see where his health was. So if this guy makes it, fitting we just spotted a black bear, that would be the only species we haven't shot like literally off this map as a diamond would be the black bear. And oh my goodness, is that max score? 245.5. I know 245 is the highest score estimate. We can go back and look at it. Uh, That's the second max weight bison I've ever shot. I shot one release day of Yukon Valley. I'm so glad I didn't mess that up now. We were actually fine. Like, it's well into the lung, but uh, it ended up scoring like 990. It was really low trophy rating for the weight, but that may well be the absolute max for a Plains Bison, and that's really cool. All right. I almost didn't spot that herd. Like I said, I'm running up here to check this lake for Pronghorn, and I kind of saw them over there and almost ignored them, but I just kind of thought to look, and I am really glad I did that. So yeah, I definitely want to get you guys' opinion on like a Sunday wrap-up video like this, and like I said, it wouldn't be every Sunday, but definitely weeks where we maybe have several Twitch highlights and several things that didn't make into videos, I think it could be cool. But anyway, this was the smaller of the two diamond turkeys, and we're getting to a point where we have a lot of turkeys throughout the trophy lodge, but they do look good on the wall mounts, so I'm not sure that I want to completely stop but pretty soon we definitely need to get that second trophy lodge made so we don't just fill this place with turkeys. But we have our bison back in this room, and I've kind of been avoiding this room since we shot that, but that's so cool. 245.5. I do believe that's the max score, which is insane. I think that's our fifth max score animal on the new system, and I only got seven max scores on the old system, and the new system's been out for like five months, so we've been very, very lucky with that compared to in the past, but... Then we're going to go back here to our pronghorn, and I just couldn't believe that. Uh, I shot the two albinos from one herd literally the night before that stream, and then we killed another one right after that on my own map. So this is the four. He's the biggest one. He's the only one I have up right now since he was a gold. Generally, that's kind of what I do. I basically want my lodge to be diamonds, and then any rares that are mounted have to be golds. I guess they don't have to be, but that's sort of what I'm trying to go for for now. But yeah, I thought that was really cool. Obviously the diamond mule deer that we just about messed up with the recurve. Go figure, every time we find a diamond on stream it feels like we have to use the recurve, but I thought that was cool. And I think that was the last trophy actually from the video. Because I believe the other two were just the level 3 albino and the female albino, which I'm definitely keeping. If we ever get like a huddle pronghorn multi-mount, I think we're going to be pretty well set to make a really cool one. But yeah, we got another diamond mule deer. I still want one that's not a blonde, but... For now, definitely not too bad. So anyway, that's going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.